Hey, do you keep falling down on your walk and you don't know why? Well, I have something to show you. You see this picture here? That's a trap for animals, right? So I want to bring your attention to the stick with the little thing there at the end, the little round thing inside the loop. That's called the scandal. The scandal draws in the prey, which sets off the trap. So, what's the definition of a scandal? In, in the old, I think it's Greek, it's scandalon. It's the word that you can look up, scandalon. It's a trap, a snare, an obstacle, an obstacle to faith, something that arouses anger or rejection, cause for stumbling block. In the Old Testament, it's a cause for ruin, causes one to sin. Hmm. So in Exodus chapter 23, verse 20, uh, 33, they shall not dwell in the land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. Okay, and then again in Romans chapter 11, verse 9. And David says, let their table become a snare and a trap, a stumbling block and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see and bow down their back always. So, and then again in Psalm 140, which is a prayer of deliverance from evil men. Um, it starts in verse 4 and 5. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purposed to make my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. So, with this information, what, what is causing you to take, what bait are you taking? Are you taking the bait? Does somebody come and chit-chat in your ear, a little bit of gossip, and then you end up gossiping with them, and then you're like, oh man, why did I do that? Because you took the bait! Now you recognize, I want you to think about this picture. Every time you think about sinning or doing something, you th I want you to think about this picture. It's a trap. Don't do it. 